According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Eagle Song Family Peony Farm is one of the most remote farms in the United States. It sets 40 miles northwest of Anchorage in the pristine Susitna Valley, one of Alaska's premier peony growing regions. Hi, my name's Mike Williams. Welcome to Eagle Song Farm in the heart of Bush, Alaska. I, along with my wife Paula, created Eagle Song Farm about 11 years ago. My wife Paula and I are both veterans of the U.S. Army, accumulating over 25 years service between us. I retired after 20 years service in 1994. We moved to the heart of Bush, Alaska, creating Eagle Song Lodge. Eagle Song Lodge was a traditional hunting and fishing lodge, concentrating primarily on salmon fishing. Due to the invasion of a non-native species known as Northern Pike, our salmon runs were depleted to the levels where sport fishing was no longer allowed, and we were faced with either moving away or recreating ourselves. That's when we turned to farming. About 11 years ago, we walked in a bulldozer 47 miles, helicoptered in a new tractor, and we started planting peonies. Today, we're one of the larger peony farms in the state of Alaska, marketing peonies all over the U.S. As a matter of fact, over 95% of the peonies that we harvest are shipped throughout the U.S. They are not sold in Alaska. It's early May and there's still snow on the ground, but our season is very fast and intense. By the end of July, our harvest of peonies will be over. While our primary focus is cut flowers, peonies, we also sell peony rootstock, and we have a, a small operation of hops here in Alaska, as well as supplying some of the local microbreweries. My wife Paula and I are both very involved in the agricultural industry. I have just come off serving a term on the board of directors with the Alaska Farmland Trust. My wife Paula is currently on the board of directors with the Alaska Farm Bureau. Uh, we're members of Made in Alaska, uh, Alaska Grown. Um, we are the 2014 Farm Family of the Year for Alaska. We've been uh, involved with the Farm Veteran Coalition for about six years now. We had the privilege a couple of years ago of being involved in the collaboration of Homegrown by Heroes with the Alaska Grown program here in Alaska. We've been members of the Alaska Peony Growers Association and I am currently the alternate to the county uh, committee with Farm Service Agency. I understand the issues of starting a farm from scratch. Being 40 miles from the nearest road, I also understand how important logistics and marketing are. I look forward to this opportunity of serving for the next two years on this advisory committee. And I encourage any of you, regardless of where you may reside, what region you may be in, if we can be of assistance, don't hesitate to contact me. I look forward to this committee helping FVC become all that it can be. I may not be able to tell you or help you with the things to do, but I can surely help you with the things that you shouldn't do. Hi there, my name is Yanni Bunch. I am an Army veteran and executive director of Not Forgotten Outreach, and joining me today is William the Goat. Not Forgotten Outreach is a training and therapy farm for veterans and veteran family members located here in Taos, New Mexico. Additionally, I am the Mountain Region Representative for the Farmer Veteran Coalition Advisory Panel. Hi, my name is Damon Cleeton. I'm the owner and operator of Cleeton's 4E Farms in Kempner, Texas. I am honored to have been selected uh, to represent the Southern Plains region on the Farmer Veteran Coalition Advisory Panel. I grew up in a small town in the Texas Hill Country, surrounded by peach orchards and truck farms, uh, which later became the heart of the Texas wine industry. I also spent a lot of summers with my family in western Oklahoma in the wheat and cotton fields. After a brief 23-year sabbatical with the U.S. Army, I was fortunate enough to be able to come back to uh, do what I love doing. In 2016, after we retired, I managed to take seven acres that hadn't seen a plow in 50 years and turn it into an operational produce farm with help and support of my wife, Sine, and my four kids, Emma, Ellen, Eric, and Edith, a.k.a. the four E's. Since then, we've been fortunate enough, along with uh, having the support of the Farmer Veteran Coalition, to be able to expand 
into a retail nursery and a cut flower operation. To me, agriculture is all about family and community. And after 20 years in the military, well, we have a lot of family now. By working with organizations such as the Farmer Veteran Coalition, AgriBility, and the Battleground to Breaking Ground program, I know for a fact that the strength of veteran farmers and ranchers lies in their brothers and sisters standing next to them. Over the next two years, I look forward to serving and working with y'all as we improve our foxhole to help feed America together. I find that when people get interested in honeybees, that they start to see the whole natural world in a completely different way. The organization of a hive, the way that things are structured, the way that everybody has a responsibility, that really speaks to me as a veteran. Coming out as a disabled veteran, that transitional period is something that's incredibly difficult to deal with. And it really wasn't until I got back into school and really got into entomology, into bees, that that all started to change for me. The first time I was ever in a bee yard, it was the first time since I had left the military that I really felt like there was a mission I could get behind. That has been my mission since I have gotten out, is to serve honeybees, to make sure that we're educating individuals around the United States on the best ways to keep bees alive, and to contribute myself to that continued food security of our nation. Folks, uh, my name is Lou Drever, and I'm privileged to be selected for the panel for the Corn Belt for the Farmer Veteran Coalition. Uh, I've got a degree in agriculture from the University of Northwest Ohio. I'm helping manage a fourth generation family farm, and I'm also doing some agroforestry there. We've got a five acre pond, so we're trying to mess around with that. We're doing the usual corn, beans, and hay. Uh, I've also worked as a uh, as the grower for the Abilities Connection, which provides vocational rehabilitation for adults with developmental disabilities. And in that capacity, was running a hydroponic greenhouse and a grower. So I've got kind of a broad spectrum of, of background there. I served in the Army for four years, uh, also in the National Guard, and did 24 years as a contractor at all kinds of lovely garden spots. I look forward to representing you and your views and helping us all move forward together in this endeavor. Thank you. Hey, what is happening Delta Region? My name is Joshua Nelson with the Farmer Veteran Coalition. Just making a quick introductory video about myself. I've been a Farmer Veteran Coalition member, uh, I think for seven or eight years now. And recently this last year, I was blessed with uh, being a recipient of one of the Kubota tractors through the Kubota Gear to Give program. And we got to go down to Brantley Gilbert's Ranch in Alabama uh, to receive that, which is a huge blessing and quite an honor. I think a lot of Farmer Veteran Coalition, uh, which is why I continue to stay a member and try to give back when I can. I'm glad that you've decided to be part of it. A little bit about myself. I live in Ripley, West Virginia, and was asked to uh, fill in for the Delta region, which I will do so. Uh, we're a regenerative ranch. We're radically traditional. We work all of our cattle off of horseback mostly, uh, but you can see we mob graze our cattle, and uh, and then uh, we tend to run our laying hens behind that to keep down on flies and that sort. Uh, we do some market gardening. You see our high tunnel right back there. First year with that. Really don't know what I'm doing. Trying to learn about it. I'm more of a cowboy than a than a farmer but uh, we're still trying to learn anyways i'm extremely passionate about it i also teach sustainable agriculture for west virginia university at parkersburg as far as my military career is concerned i spent five years as a 249 machine gunner in the marine corps and i was a combat engineer in 1371 and currently i am still a c-130 pilot for the west virginia air national guard i spent a lot of time in little rock arkansas and down in that area of the world i look forward to working with you I look forward to meeting you. I look forward to supporting you and uh, trying to change the food system in our country, which desperately needs us.
Hi, I'm Betty Osteen, retired Army JAG Corps, coming to you from my farm in rural West Virginia. I'm standing here next to Grandfather, my champion Northern Red Oak, and in front of my high tunnel to give you an idea of how we farm here. We use a combination of the ancient indigenous and the brand new modern so that we achieve the most earth friendly outcome. I have a Master's of Business Administration from the University of Texas at Arlington and got my Master Gardener certification from the Texas AgriLife program, which I continue now with the West Virginia University. The high tunnel here has the latest in hydroponic technology and we grow very nutritious microgreens and leaf lettuces. We also practice rainwater harvesting so that no city water chemicals touch any of our plants. A combination solar and wind tunnel system is about to take us off the grid entirely. We sustainably grow and harvest over 100 different herbs, medicinal, and edible plants here, making dozens of different types of herbs from the cosmetics, medicines, crafts, and cleansers. The bread and butter of the farm, though, is in our spice and tea mixes. I tell everyone at the markets, we're the ones that make all the other booths taste good and have flavor. I'm lucky to be the steward of this land where a brother deer comes out of the forest and recognizes me and eats from my hand. I can also sit on suntan rock and listen to the song of the creek as it goes by. I teach dozens of different classes on behalf of the Extension Service in gardening and for the 4-H I do wilderness survival and foraging. All of this wisdom for the last 10 years, both old and new, has gone into my newspaper column that I call Betty's Beds. We give part of everything we raise here to our charity partner, Wellspring, who feed the homeless and the disadvantaged in this extreme food insecure area. I'm very proud to be on the Farmer Veteran Coalition Advisory Board and represent Appalachia. The honor is to serve. I am here for you. Call me anytime you want. Thank you.